Okay, so this is going to be a quick example of how to win in Arena with Otter Strats. So, Otters are extremely good if you happen to get a lot of them at the start. And it turns out your odds of actually getting an Otter at the start are very high. Even just spending like 3 gold gives you like an 82% chance to find an Otter or something like that. So, the odds are a lot higher than you might think. And the Otter especially is OP once you get it to level 2. As you can see, it's giving plus 2, plus 2 to this fish which already has the highest base stats at plus 2 plus 2, plus when you level up the fish it's going to give even more stats, and it's just really good to get a lot of scaling early on, and scaling is how you win in Super Auto Pets. It's uh, pretty obvious maybe, but like high stats just kind of beat out everything out, uh, else out, including most of the abilities. It's pretty easy to win with like no actual in-game abilities. You can win with just high stats, and that's pretty much what I'm going for here. So a good way to follow up just getting a lot of uh, otters early on is to go for a crab because the crab copies the health from the highest health unit so it gives us just an insanely high health crab. I didn't take it there because uh, I don't know why I didn't actually. I probably should have. It didn't even matter because I just rolled into a level 3 otter. When you get a level 3 otter, I usually just sell it if you want to. You can go for a bison if you do happen to get one early or see one on like turn 7. But uh, apparently I didn't even need the crab to win this. It's usually pretty helpful in case someone does happen to have bone attack to take the crab. So you have like two really good units. But this also works and I get the level up on the fish which means I get stats for everything else. The swan is just for economy which is always helpful. Just having that extra roll or extra two rolls to find the things that you want can be really nice. Because a lot of times, so the way I think about it. You want to buy three things in a turn, right? You have 10 gold to do it, and that means you're spending 9 gold to buy things, which really only leaves you with 1 gold to roll for. And that can be pretty tricky to find exactly what you want. If you happen to have a level 2 swan, suddenly you have 12 gold, which means you have 3 rerolls to buy 3 things still. Or if you happen to have like everything frozen in the shop already, you can just buy 4 things. So I think Swan's just a really big advantage, and you can get the things that you want a lot of times when you have Swan. So I go for level 2 Swan. It's not like it's completely necessary. I wouldn't recommend taking Swans on turn 5 and above. I would only take it on turns 3 and 4 because on turns 5, you unlock Badger, you unlock Ox. Those units are just so good. Also Turtle. And yeah, so you just want to roll for those things pretty much. Melon Armor, super good. Always take Turtle, as Northern Lion says. He can't be wrong because he's a big streamer. That's how things go in this world. And I took an Ox, put a Parrot behind the Ox. It gives you free Melon Armor. And then I'm going for just, like, good tempo stuff. So just stuff that helps me win this specific round. Sure, like, Dolphin falls off later and its ability won't do anything because most things have, like, 5 health. Or you'll just snipe, like, a useless monkey in the back. But, like, it'll help me the win these turns, and really all I care about is just winning 10 in a row here. That's what I'm going for. I'm not even thinking about late game at all, so I'm just trying to win these rounds, and whatever helps me win this round is what I'm taking. I pill in front of the Ox to give it the initial melon armor. I don't think you have to continue to do that unless if you have, like, you know, flamingos or, like, ants or something. Then you definitely want to pill stuff in front of the Ox, but just getting that first melon armor is usually all I care about. So the Mosquito snipes my melon, it doesn't even matter because we have Parrot Ox, which is just insanely good. And like, you can also go Parrot Deer, just, there's a lot of good things to Parrot. Parrot's actually just a really strong unit overall. And again, I'm going for something with good tempo. I'm just going with the sniping build here. Got the Crocodile, got the Dolphin. Crocodile's pretty nice in Arena just because, you know, Badger is uh, pretty well known to be a good unit. So a lot of people will put a Badger B in the back. And most of the time you won't have above 8 health. You can get above 8 health if someone does have like level 2 and penguin scaling, but most of the time the crocodile will kill whatever's in the back, and that's just pretty helpful overall. Things looked a little scary, but again, Parrot Ox saves us, or saves me. I don't know why I say us, but like, I'm including you guys. You guys are learning from my play, right, here? Uh, so I'm just rolling because like, I want to level up the Parrot or the Dolphin, and... I'll probably just end up buying the crocodile, but luckily I get pretty lucky and just get the level 2 parrot. And now I think it's worth it to put it behind the crocodile. Good chance that we kill at least two things here. 8 damage to the back and then 16. Actually, I guess the 16 goes first and then 8 to the second to last. 
and they have their strongest unit in the back there it doesn't even matter we kill it and that's a free 10 win so that kind of just shows like how strong having one unit with melon armor can be with the otters and then just buying what helps you win that round anyway thanks for watching see ya